Alright guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Um, starting next month, I'm going to start posting um, once a week. I'm going to try to keep the same schedule, the same day per week. But yeah, today's speaker card is going to be about when will you meet your future your husband slash your wife so they have five cards for you choosing one you're most drawn to you could be drawn to multiple ones it doesn't matter but yeah let's start with the first part hi about one so it's you when will you meet your husband slash wife okay so let's put this here Okay, I heard eight months. Okay, I saw the devil, so Capricorn season. But mm, this could be a past energy or somebody that is toxic to you. Maybe there's a lesson that you need to learn with this person. A karmic lesson. Strength card. We have a Leo season. This person could be a Leo. Or maybe you met this person in Leo season. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups and the seven of cups of piscean energy here so maybe you're a leo that's going to meet a piscean a pisces or vice versa i see that a leo could be coming making an offer to you though but there's a lot of offers other than this person here maybe somebody made you an offer on um leo season or they're coming back on pisces pisces season I would, as we have two times water energy so maybe in the water sign energy but i see python energy if hmm, especially for those if one of you guys if you guys have met somebody in august okay there's something that is gonna continue here okay let's see give me a time here and how many months are they going to meet them and how many months Ooh. Two months, two more months here. Hmm. Or maybe there's two more people here, at least in two months, yeah. So again, yeah, Pisces season is literally next year. But Pisces season is in February, which is the second month of the year, as we have two here. But I feel like you're going to receive a lot of offers, though. But the, hmm, I feel like the one is somebody that you already met. Like, they could be a Leo or you met them in Leo season already. Okay, very interesting. This is going to be somebody that is shy, but this is somebody that made a very sincere offer. And I feel like you kept it on the back burner here. Okay. And this person is going to make an appearance. <laughs> and I feel like the universe is going to come for me. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. But not in, at least in two months. They're going to, they're not going to make some, um, any action at least in two months. Okay. For two months. But yeah, that's it. That's how I see for you, part one. I hope this was in tough for you. And I see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Hi, pal two. So let's see when will you meet your husband slash your wife. Okay, I heard two, two, two. Maybe you see a lot of two. Okay, or maybe you're going to see a lot of number two when you're going to meet this person. Okay. Let's see. Or maybe, oh, this is very interesting. Maybe this is a date, okay? Maybe you already met this person on the 2nd of February. Or maybe you're going to meet them in next February on the 2nd. Very interesting. Or maybe the second week of the month. Okay, this maybe the second week of, of February. Okay, maybe you met them in 2012. Or maybe when, okay, 21. Let's see, 21. Yeah, 2021. So, yeah. Okay. Let's see, when will they meet their future, their wife as well? When will they meet them? Yeah, you could have already met them or there's something. I feel like you're going to see signs um, with numbers. Okay, yeah, I keep hearing choo choo choo, so very interesting. We have the world card, fixed energy, Leotaurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. This could be your sign or their sign. Seven of swords and five of wands. Yeah, this is somebody that yeah, this is somebody that you know that somebody that you already have dealt with. Maybe there's some karmic so called uh, cycle that you had to deal with before. There's somebody coming back around. Okay, there was an ending of a situation here or this person is about to end a cycle of their life. Okay, this could be a fixed one, like I said, Leo Taurus Scorpio Aquarius Seven Swords. This is somebody that was sneaky on you, or this is somebody where you had to take back control of the situation here. This is somebody that you fought a lot with, or this is somebody 
if you don't know them already this is somebody where you're gonna have the upper hand okay you're gonna be the spoon of the relationship regardless of your gender this is somebody well you will argue a lot but you will play a lot like when you're gonna love hard but you're gonna hate each other hard as well okay let's see and how many months will they meet them and how many months yes just like pal two okay i feel like at least in two months okay so not anything is not gonna happen nothing is gonna happen at least for two months okay let's see let's get a season because give me a season give me a season for them okay i heard leo has family so maybe this is a leo or maybe you met them in leo season or you're gonna meet them next year like i said i heard 2021 so yeah maybe you're gonna meet them this year but nothing is gonna happen until next year okay 2021 let's see give me a season give me a zodiac sign please give me a season and when will they meet them when will they meet them give me an actual season let's see when will they actually meet them give me a zodiac sign or a season please when will they meet their future boyf uh husband wife give me a actual zodiac sign or season please okay gemini season so yeah either this yeah you could have met this person in gemini season or you're gonna meet them in gemini season next year okay sorry about that but yeah that's it that's what i see for your pal too i hope this was in for free and i'll see you guys next time bye guys hi pal three so i see when will you meet your future your wife slash husband okay let's see if, just like about two, I see three, three, three. So maybe you're going to see a lot of threes. This is, could be a sign that you're going to meet them. Or yeah, again, it could be a date. So three, three, three. Maybe you're going to meet them on the third month, which is March, third March. Maybe you met them in 2013. Maybe you're going to meet, ooh. I see 2013 if you already met them or um maybe 31st maybe or yeah 2031 though oh this is a long time but that's what i see so but let's see when will they met, meet their husband slash wife when will they meet their husband slash wife maybe you already know them maybe you already met them but nothing is gonna happen until that date so at least i see at least next year if you already know them uh, even if you don't know them okay but yeah i feel like nothing is gonna happen until at least next year okay let's see when will they meet their husband slash wife when will they meet their husband slash wife when will they meet their husband slash wife? We have the two of ones. I heard travel. Okay, so yeah, if you're really gonna travel, it's not really the right time, but if you really have to, or maybe they're gonna travel to you. Maybe they're gonna visit where you live, okay? Um, Ace of Cups. Maybe near, uh, somewhere near a beach or something that has to do with where, or maybe where you serve drinks okay or where there's a fountain something that has to do with water in any sort of way okay maybe there are waiter maybe you're gonna meet them at a restaurant something that has to do with water like it could be a beach a pool which i don't think this is a good idea but yeah this are of course energy um yeah maybe a park i don't know why i see that a park Okay, and nine times okay so i feel like somebody could be i feel like you're gonna meet them when somebody here is doing a shift or where somebody could be traveling this is gonna make you a very heartfelt offer but you're gonna need to get rid of something or somebody needs to get rid of something before meeting the person the other one here okay yeah but yeah, this really is not a share issue. They're gonna nurture their relationship. And this is somebody, yeah. They could be or they could be working um with plants, with flowers. Okay, or maybe this is you and this is where you're gonna meet them. Maybe somebody here is gonna buy flowers and that's how you're gonna meet each other. Okay, very kinky, very like romantic to me. 
Um, yeah, I love that shit. <laughs> okay, they can be a Aquarius. Maybe something's gonna happen in Aquarius season. Yeah, magician Aries energy. This is a new beginning that is on the horizon here, and I feel like you maybe you're just gonna meet each other. I don't feel like you're gonna literally just start something, but it's like oh, like and you notice the person. But yeah, like you're gonna slowly get to know each other. I don't feel like it's gonna start well uh, quick. Okay, I feel like you're gonna meet each other again and again. That's how you're gonna build something here. Okay. Let's see, in how many months are... Okay, well, though. Yeah. Ooh, six months, yeah. Six months. Well, that's the least, like, in six months. But again, you could meet them before, but nothing is going to happen until six months. At least for six months, nothing is going to happen. So, yeah, like I said, thank you, Universe, for confirming that. Yeah, you can meet each other, talk to each other, but nothing concrete is going to happen for at least six months okay so yeah that's it that's what i see for you pal three i hope this was insightful for you and i'll see you guys next time bye guys hi pal four so let's see when will you meet your wife slash husband okay this is very rude ever since, ever since pal two i saw this so i see four for four for you so maybe you see four for four a lot and this is funny because i see the four of wands and the four um from this deck the four of wands to me let me see if i can find it the four of wands to me is a marriage card so this is somebody something concrete this is literally like very hard and just realize <laughs> But I feel like this person is going to know right away and you're going to know as well right away that you want to marry them. It's like, oh, like this is the one. Like there's no thinking. There's no second guessing. Like this is the one. Like I want to marry them. And I feel like it's going to be mutual or at least it's going to be from their side. Like you're going to know that they want you and they want to show it to you. And things are going to move very fast because <clears throat> why waste your time when they know that, that the one that they want to be with the rest of their life is you. You know what I mean? So I feel like they're going to ask you um to be engaged very soon very early in the relationship because they are sure and yeah like they know for sure that they want you and only you are hurt so yeah when you know somebody you know okay that's on period but yeah yeah or 11 11 so maybe you're gonna go through a spiritual growth when you're gonna meet this person or maybe they're gonna be going through a spiritual growth when you're gonna meet them but i feel like you're gonna like you're gonna move in very fast but not like um too quick when we're to the point that it's gonna fall apart quick okay but i play it's gonna be very quick with very solid relationships love foundation i felt like that i ask you to move in with them really quick or maybe they're gonna ask you um you to move in with um to move in with you very really quick like they're gonna like settle things like a will real quick with you but i feel like it will have a still solid foundation okay oh let's put this there because i love this energy let's see when will they meet paul for when will they meet paul uh their future their husband slash wife when will they meet them when will they meet them you could be marrying a Leo. Uh, well, didn't mean to say that, but it could be really a Leo or something that gonna happen in Leo season. Okay. Um. Or yeah, you could be meeting them in Leo season. <laughs> or, or I meant well, I'm so confused. I I meant to say that you could be marrying a a fire sign. Okay. I, oh my god, I was gonna say Leo again. So yeah, this could be a Leo. Right? You're, you're gonna be both Leo, or maybe you but you're both Leos, or maybe you're a Leo. Okay. You have the six of cups, Gemini energy. You have the Queen of Cups, the Full Aries Energy, Knight of Swords Energy, the Bridge of Knight of Aries. You have two times um, Air Energy here and twice Gemini, more specifically here. But yes, yes, this could be somebody from your past. Somebody where you felt very at ease, but maybe it wasn't working at the time because it was the wrong, the right person, but the wrong timing. So I feel like, yeah, this can make sense um, if you already know them because it's like you already have dealt with each other. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, you could have already met each other. So it's like, oh, like when you're gonna deal with them again, you know already it's the one. It just wasn't the right timing, okay? So yeah, this is somebody where you felt at ease, or this is somebody that felt that felt relaxed. This is somebody that could have loved tea, if that means anything to you, or they felt like tea, you know, like how tea is relaxing. Like this person made you just, just feel relaxed, like at comfort, at ease, at peace. Okay. 
yeah, full of the full. You're gonna take a new leap of faith. You have a new beginning, a brand new beginning here. You're gonna have to trust each other to start fresh, to start anew here. And yeah, I feel like they're gonna come to you. If anything, yeah, the Knight of Swords is somebody, yeah, very double confirmation here. Thank you, universe, um, to tell you that this the Knight of Swords is somebody that knows what they want and they go for it. So yeah, I feel like you could have already dealt with them, but regardless of if you have dealt with them or not, they already you're gonna know very soon that they want you and they're gonna go for it and they're gonna show it to you. Like let's move in, let's do this and that. You know what I mean? Okay, so ooh, love this okay so in how many months are they gonna meet each other in how many months are they gonna meet each other more than two months okay but i feel like it's gonna be less than two months okay because yeah it's gonna move in very quick like yeah very quick so in less than two months or maximum two months or about two months that's what i see for you guys but yeah that's what i see for you pal for i hope this was insightful for you and i see you guys next time bye guys hi about five last but not least let's see when will you meet your wife slash husband okay like about two three and four i see for you number five 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 and this is interesting because the more five you see that's what i heard from somebody um the more five you see the more the bigger the change is and i see five 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 so you could see a lot of five 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 that this person is going to come in your life and that this person is meant to change your life but in a big aspect okay um yeah this person is going to have a big impact i believe that everybody go, um that we meet is meant to teach us a lesson but this person that is coming that is going to become your wife or us that is going to change your life like on a whole other level okay you're gonna be a new person or you're just gonna have like a new sense of i don't know like it's gonna your change your life is gonna change but for the better okay when you're gonna meet this person that's what i see for sure for you guys okay let's see yes sugar daddy okay let's see when will there will i heard provide yep they're gonna provide the king of pentacles provides okay let's see um when will they meet their wife slash husband i see this could be your earth sign or they could have a very fixed energy a very grounded energy regardless of their zodiac sign queen of the hair queen of swords air energy the brother i'm not aquarius okay, it could be a hair sign it could be a heart sign or vice versa this is funny how we have a king and a queen okay this the couple are rare um especially matching couples but this is this is still a couple to me <laughs> okay even though they're not the same um element this is still a couple here hmm, this is interesting how the, between the two of you the, there is a four of cups in the reverse I feel like none of you is going to make an offer to the other one. You're just going to, you know, start talking and you're just going to have, you're just going to be like that together. Okay. Like, yeah, like I said, you won't make an offer because you know already you're going to be, you're going to want each other. But I feel like you're going to have to make sure with this person that you want the same thing, that you're on the same page. But I feel like you want to have issues with that. Okay. And then though there's not really a communication that all oh, like, like literally like, oh, we're boyfriend, we're girlfriend, we're together we're dating you know like both of you you know mutually even though you haven't really said it directly said it but may still may be sure but i feel like yeah you're gonna have a very good communication even though you don't talk that much or you're not that direct okay it's like you're talking with your um body languages okay it's like something very secure or very sacred for the two of you so only you two can understand your relationship um as for everybody in your relationship, but yeah, just especially the two of you, you will understand yourself. Maybe people will be like, oh, like, did it told you you were together, you will, you were dating. And you, you could be saying no, but we just mutually understand each other. And yeah, people may have a hard time understanding your relationship, you're bound with this person, but you, this is between you and them. And yeah, nobody should get in between or nobody should like second guess your relationship because you gonna make sure that you're on the same page with them and vice versa okay so yeah i feel like your energy is very mature you want each other you don't even have to you i feel like you don't even you don't even ask you have to ask each other you that you want each other because you know you want each other okay <laughs> if it makes sense again you will understand each other very much so you won't talk a lot 
but you will talk with the mod with the body language that's what i feel i love this okay <laughs> let's see and yeah the king of pentacles is the, the sugar daddy okay this person will provide the king of pentacles to be somebody that they have money okay but this is somebody that they don't they're not about money okay as long as they know that they have hard work hard for what they have that's all that they need to know and people may be like um thinking that this person is bragging but if anything um they rather spend money on others rather than on themselves okay people may feel salty because they have money they can't put across us money but yeah they don't brag okay um and they provide they have stability here whether they're a fixed sign or hard sign doesn't matter they're gonna provide for you okay and i feel like they're gonna instead of yeah i feel like your board actions speak louder than words because the queen of swords is straight to the point no bullshit you don't serve me you're treating me like shit bye okay like i don't need to second guess you don't i don't want you in my life and that's empiric you're gonna serve because things situation people are, people are no longer serves her she doesn't think it's bullshit and she knows when to cut things okay and she can cut deep with her words and she can have very cold and distant. You're both will no bullshit, but in two very different aspects. This person is more on money, but you're more on, you know, intelligence. Okay. You know, you, wanna, you know what I mean? So it's like you balance each other in a way and you're straight to the point. Okay. This person's going to show you physically that they want you. Yeah. You're more, like I said, you're more about action, speak louder than words. So you're, you're going to see in each other's action that you want each other. You won't have to say it. Like I said, you won't have to say it. You just know because they're showing you that they want you and you're showing them that they, you want that. And that's on period. And only you can, only the two of you can understand this relationship, this connection, because it's your connection. It's between the two of you and shall be between only the two of you. Okay. Let's see. How many months? Will they meet pal five? Ooh, one month. Ooh, let's. This is very interesting. Maybe less than a month, um, or about one month, or maybe, hmm, somewhere between one month and three months. I see, but for most of you, it's about one month, one month. Okay, or maybe less, less than one month. But yeah. That's it. That's what I see for your power five. I hope this wasn't tough for you. And I see you guys next time. Bye, guys.